Thanks, Ed. So we've seen some nice improvements to the sectioning tool in SOLIDWORKS 2015. So we'll go into SOLIDWORKS and have a look. So in previous releases of SOLIDWORKS, we could section uh, about up to three planes. So if we just have a look at that in action, um, we'll choose to section about a front plane to begin with. We can drag our manipulator here to change our values or alternatively manually key in the values that we want here in the property manager. So I'm just going to rotate the top plane about X and then go to the right plane for my next selection. And this is the type of result we got. Um, so as you can see, it wasn't particularly easy to create cutaway sections of models. The way that you would do it in previous releases would be to probably create an assembly cut and have that as a separate configuration of your model. New in SOLIDWORKS 2015, we have a, a new selection section method called Zonal. And when we turn that on, you'll see the planes that we've selected intersecting through the bounding box of our model. And then we can just pick the zones that we want to section. So I'll pick those zones there at the front and the same zones at the back. You can see that as we do that, um, the model sections to give us a cutaway section. And we can still include or exclude, exclude components within our section. So we'll just go ahead and exclude the screws and fixings from that section. So as you can see, we get quite a nice result there. We've also seen improvement to the explode tool. We now have a, a radial explode option. And we'll just have a look at how that works. So we'll turn on radial step and I'm gonna go ahead and just select some components. Now I want to select all the screws and as you can see, they've been saved away as a selection set within my model. The next thing we have to do is just pick an axis to explode from. So I'm just going to pick the axis of the tube by selecting the edge. At that point, all I need to do is grab hold of the uh, arrow and drag it. We'll do another uh, with the arms. So again, I'll just select the components, choose my axis, and drag hold of the arrow. Okay, so as you can see, that was very easy to create. In SOLIDWORKS 2014 and previous, it would have been a much longer process to achieve the same thing. We also see improvement to uh, the linear explode. Um, if we just, again, select some components. The improvement that we see here is when you have auto space components on drag switched on. So in previous releases, you grab hold of the triad, you drag it out, and then upon release of the, uh, the cursor, your components would explode, which could sometimes lead to uh, undesirable and unpredictable results. Now what we see is a live preview of exactly how it's going to explode before we release it. So we get a much better idea of, of what's going on. We can drop it and we can still adjust it as before. Okay, so as you can see, some really nice enhancements to the uh, the tool set there. If we switch back to the PowerPoint, uh, just to summarize, we have our no, new zonal sectioning tool, which allows us to easily create cutaway sections of our model. We have a new radial explode option, and we have an intelligent auto explode, uh, which allows us to auto space collinear components and see a live preview. We'll now switch to Ed for improved move phase functionality.